In the past, along the banks of the Nile River in Egypt, there was a remarkable civilization that left a big mark on history. This is the story of ancient Egypt, a place filled with mystery, magic, and great accomplishments. From the time of the pharaohs to the building of the pyramids, Egypt's history stretched from the Mediterranean to deep into Africa. Pharaohs like Cleopatra and Ramses II ruled as powerful leaders, and their names are remembered even today. The pharaoh's treasures, decorated with gold and precious gems, tell stories of their rich and lavish rule. Every year, when the Nile River flooded, it brought life to the dry land, allowing Egypt to thrive like an oasis in the desert. Today we'll explore the secrets of ancient Egypt, discovering its incredible wonders, myths, and history. Once upon a time, around 3100 BCE, the land of Egypt was split into two, Upper Egypt and Lower Egypt. But one significant event changed this division forever. King Narmer, a wise and powerful ruler, united these two regions, marking the beginning of a long and prosperous era known as the Pharaonic Period. This unification laid the foundation for the ancient Egyptian civilization that we know today, beginning with the First Dynasty. Under King Narmer's rule, the newly formed Egyptian society flourished. People from different regions now lived together as one, working collectively to build a civilization marked by extraordinary development and prosperity. The city of Memphis was established as the capital, becoming a significant political and cultural hub. This unity allowed the people to share knowledge and skills, leading to remarkable advancements in various fields, including architecture, art, and technology. Fast forward to around 2630 BCE during the Third Dynasty, under Pharaoh Djoser's reign. It was a time of exceptional progress in architectural innovation. Djoser's vizier, a man of great intellect and vision named Imhotep, came up with a groundbreaking idea. He planned and oversaw the construction of the Step Pyramid at Saqqara. This pyramid, with its six-tiered design, symbolized Djoser's ladder to eternal life, aligning with ancient Egyptian beliefs of life after death. Imhotep's design marked the world's first large-scale stone monument, setting a precedent for pyramid construction. This significant advancement paved the way for more elaborate and grand pyramid projects, showcasing the ancient Egyptians' ingenuity and craftsmanship. Building pyramids in ancient Egypt was a big job. It needed careful planning and lots of work. Choosing the right materials was very important, mostly used large blocks of limestone and granite. To cut these stones, they used tools made of copper. They had to move these heavy stones to the building site. Some people think they might have used sleds and poured water in front to make it slippery. This would make it easier to slide the heavy stones along. It's a mistake to think that slaves did all the work. Actually, skilled workers built the pyramids. These workers knew a lot about building and were very good at their jobs. They were put into special teams. Each team had a different job, like cutting stones, moving stones, or putting the stones together to make the pyramid. The design of the pyramids showed that Egyptians were good at math and knew a lot about stars. They used this knowledge to make sure the pyramids were built just right. They lined up the pyramids with certain stars and groups of stars called constellations. This was part of their religion. In the fourth dynasty, around 2580 BCE, a monumental project was commissioned by Pharaoh Khufu. This undertaking led to the construction of the Great Pyramid at Giza, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Standing at an incredible height of 481 feet, the Great Pyramid was the tallest man-made structure for over 3,800 years. This architectural marvel built with unparalleled precision and expertise, showcased the height of ancient Egyptian engineering and innovation. The construction of the Great Pyramid is estimated to have taken 20 years, involving thousands of skilled laborers. Despite the substantial workforce and time invested, the exact techniques used in its construction remain shrouded in mystery to this day. Researchers and historians propose various theories involving elaborate ramp systems and advanced engineering knowledge. Yet the exact methods continue to elude and fascinate modern society. Continuing the legacy of remarkable construction projects, Pharaoh Khafre, around 2570 BCE, 
commissioned the building of the iconic Great Sphinx of Giza and the Second Pyramid. The Sphinx, an immense statue with the body of a lion and the head of a king, symbolizes the pharaoh's might and serves as a guardian of his burial complex. This magnificent structure continues to stand as a testament to ancient Egyptian artistry, skill, and religious beliefs. Around 1550 BCE, ancient Egyptians demonstrated their extensive understanding of various fields, contributing significantly to medicine and astronomy. The Ebers Papyrus, one of the oldest known medical texts, was written during this period, reflecting the Egyptians' comprehensive knowledge of medicine, anatomy, and diseases. This medical treatise offered insights into ancient Egyptian medical practices, treatments, and diagnoses, showcasing their advanced healthcare system for that era. Ancient Egyptians also displayed a profound understanding of astronomy, which played a crucial role in their society and construction projects. They developed an intricate calendar based on the lunar and solar cycles, helping them organize agricultural activities and religious ceremonies. This astronomical knowledge further aided in the precise alignment of the pyramids with specific stars and constellations, underscoring the importance of the celestial in their religious and cultural beliefs. The 18th dynasty around 1570 BCE ushered in the New Kingdom, an era characterized by a surge in Egyptian power, wealth, and territorial expansion. This period saw the reigns of famous pharaohs like Hatshepsut, Akhenaten, Tutankhamun, and Ramses II. Their leadership brought not only military conquests and expanded territories, but also contributed to significant advancements in art, religion, and architecture. Under these pharaohs, the construction of monumental structures continued, with majestic temples such as the Temple of Karnak and the Abu Simbel temples being erected. These architectural feats showcased the ancient Egyptians' persistent pursuit of excellence and innovation in building technologies, further enriching their cultural heritage and leaving a lasting legacy for future generations.